All right, yep. divisional round in the National Football League world of matchups. Dexter Reed, Las Vegas, Nevada, Blue Milk Boys Gaming, Spencer the Wizard on the other side. Let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys heading to Santa Clara to face the unstoppable looking San Francisco 49ers. Yo, I took Seattle plus nine and a half like last week like a dummy because it's hard to beat the same team three times. Seattle was leading at halftime and I was looking like Negro Damas, and that was all she wrote. They got rocked to sleep after that. Niners look strong, man. Let me tell you something, Spencer. I think the Niners could go back easily. I like the Eagles, but boy, the Niners are, they're the bully of the block. You know what I mean? It's like the wire, the, 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 the show, the wire, the, the, the Niners, they're Omar. When Omar's coming, everyone runs, you know? So it's like, they're, they're chain snatchers. They really are. And they're bullies. The way they bullied Seattle, it looked like, a high school team versus a, a professional team. It was unbelievable. And so Brock Purdy looks strong. The defense looks strong. They got the type of performance they needed last week to let everybody know we're here and we ready. And so don't think for a second that because your record was better than us that we can't go to your house and win and we're definitely going to defend our home stadium. I mean, they have not lost in a long time. The last ten they lost was to the Kansas City Chiefs, bro. That was a long. That was like three beards ago. That was a long time. Okay, so here we are. Mister Irrelevant is doing exactly what he needs to do. Kyle Shanahan has been an offensive genius. I mean, he has gurued his way to this kid's strengths: running the ball with CMC, throwing the ball out of the backfield to CMC. Imagine this team without CMC; they'd be nothing. That was the best trade of the in, in season. That was fantastic. How did Carolina just give him up? That's unbelievable. They I called that trade better. being great, by the way. When that happened, yeah. I said, this is, the, this is an incredible trade. It's a great trade. Well, I mean, the on the number one run, yeah, it's the best running system in the National Football League. Their offensive line is all world. And then you throw Debo in, who hasn't been, you know, doing much. And now he's back. You know, Ayuk's no slouch. Kittle's a monster. Everyone's, everyone's ascending at the right time. Defense is playing well. They're 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 boy. They're, if they punch you in the mouth, man, you, you don't. If you don't have a counter punch, it's over. Here comes Dallas. I took Tampa last week because I did believe Tom Brady would not go out like that, and they went out like a bunch of bitches. And so Dallas has shown me that they if they can play their best game at the right time. This is a great rivalry when you go back and look at some of the Troy Aikman led Dallas teams. You know, versus like the Steve Young 49ers teams, there's a lot of rich history here, a lot of great football, and I think it continues here. Dak looked fantastic on Monday. That might be the best game I've ever seen Dak Prescott play. They look great. Mike McCarthy all of a sudden has learned how to coach. I think that Dallas has a shot here. I really do. A lot of people don't. Dallas is getting four points. I really want to take Dallas. But I'm still going to stand on the Niners are going to be the team to beat here. And I think we're set up to see the Niners fly to Philadelphia. I just think that's the I think that's the game that everyone is thinking is going to happen. And I think it will happen. I I could see Dallas covering that four. I could see this being a three-point win. I could, but something tells me that the Niners have that switch. They've got that next level. They've got another gear in them that I don't think Dallas has. I'm not saying Dallas is going to get blown out. I do think Dallas is going to play really, really well. Lamb, show game. They're, they're, they played very well last week. And you know when – I got to take my hat off to Dallas. I really do because I thought they were going to lose that game easily and they destroy Tampa. Now Tampa's not good. All right. Tampa's not good. You're now facing the number one defense in the league. And because of that, I'm going to take the Niners minus the four. I think that the favorites this week, they all really, really look good. Dak is prone to being flustered versus better defenses. I think that, I don't know if they're in trouble. But I don't think they'll win this game. But it wouldn't surprise me if they only lose by a, a field goal. So if you're the if you're the betting man, I tease this. But if we're just looking at facts and the reality of what the playoffs are going to look like in the NFC Championship game, I, I think that the Niners will be flying to Philadelphia for that game. I just think they'll be too much. The Niners are strong everywhere. What, what the only weakness that the Niners have is their rookie quarterback, and he's playing like a veteran. And so for that reason only, the Niners faithful is out there everywhere. They're strong at home. 
I think they're going to win this game, and I think they're going to win probably by a touchdown. Your thoughts? Yeah, This game will probably, to me, come down to the turnover battle. I think Purdy probably has a good interception in this game just because the Cowboys' defense is a little too good. And I also think that Dak Prescott has at least one or two interceptions in him. The storyline going into last week against that Bucks game was that Dak stinks. Like, that's what everybody was talking. It's, it's it The storylines are quelled now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's part of, like, the media-driven narrative, and that's kind of annoying how that's the only thing that we talked about. But this guy had a lot of turnovers going into that playoff game, and that's why 15, so many people it. 15 picks. 15. Yeah. That's now, a he lot, played man. Great, but you talked about it, and I agree. The Bucks stink. I mean, this is a seven-win team stink. that made the playoffs by default because no one else in the division is, co- like, even remotely competent. That's seven all teams that should not go into the playoffs. I hate no, this playoff I, format. Yeah, it's a little. It's just about money. It's just about money. It's just about money. And Tom Brady, please retire, man. Enough already. Like enough. 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 This guy's Go a out, raider. You... I don't, I, this guy's oh, a raider. <laughs> I'm telling you. If he I mean, goes he, to the Raiders, he may die on the field, bro. What they have? Um, a, the to, they have a top ten offensive line. The Raiders stink. They have a top five offensive weapon set. And they got they got like so many picks in the draft. They have the Raiders third be, most free agents. They'll money. be the worst. They'll be the worst team in, in in the AFC West again if he goes. Oh, out. absolutely not! Absolutely not! I think they could. Horrible. You know, you'll see. You'll see. Tom Brady's but... a bum, dude. Enough. <laughs> Tom Brady needs to retire, dude. You're embarrassed on national television. You know, enough. Like, yeah, he can't when go is out enough that enough? way. That's the whole point. He's gotta... dude, you're gonna be in a wheelchair. He's gonna be passing. Is... Oh, enough, dude. Like enough. Go He's make up with your wife. Go, go make up with your kids. Like enough, dude. Like you're done. You're done. This guy's back a, to this game. Back to in Vegas. But <laughs> no, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I I think that Dak Prescott. It well, it's easy to say it depends on him, but it really does feel like the most stress is going to be on him. This guy's had a turnover problems, like we just talked about. Now he's playing a team that's gonna that's the number one defense in the league, and I think that does not bode well for the Cowboys. But it, it's so weird, you know. It's like we're assuming that a rookie quarterback is just going to kill it again. It's so hard because you've just never seen that before. So it does feel like there's so much interest in the Cowboys. But every time we expect the, you know, the the floor to fall under Brock Purdy, the guy puts up 300 yards and three touchdowns in a it's playoff. It's the game. scheme. It's bizarre. It's man. the scheme. They run stuff to his strengths and they don't put him in situations to fail. You have you noticed they're never in third and long. Because when you have CMC, first down, six yards, second down, three yards, and then it's third and one. And then they quarterback sneak, bully ball. They're never in third and long. Go look at the game last week. They're rarely in third and long. Third, and it's always manageable with Purdy because Shanahan's got the right play calls. And then you have an X factor like Debo. You don't know. See, you have Swiss Army knives. You've got two of the best offensive players on the same side of the field. CMC out of the backfield, CMC between the tackles. Debo can do anything. Anything. So yeah. who do you who do you guard? Who do you guard? Who do you guard? That's that's why they're so good. This will be, be Yeah. I, I was just gonna say this is gonna be Brock Purdy's biggest challenge. I don't think he's played a team or a defense at the very oh, least. No. He only plays defense. No, I don't think Dal- he's played Dallas a defense is... as good as this. So th- this is it. I mean, defense. if this guy is, if Brock Purdy is about to start like the most amazing career ever, it could start and it could go through America's team. It's just, mm-hmm. that's just, yeah. It could happen. It could happen. I mean, everyone's starting to say, you know, this is your new Tom Brady Cinderella story. I'm not ready to jump on that train no, yet. Not yet. You know, but he wins this game. He wins next week and then wins a Super Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, Mr. Irrelevant's very relevant. So I think that the Niners are better now with CMC than they were when they went to the Super Bowl and lost to the Chiefs, and that's a game they should have won. So if they go back to the Super Bowl now, I mean, they're I think they're the favorites versus anyone they play unless there's an injury. I mean, don't sleep on Purdy. The kid is the kid is good. Now Dallas's defense is going to be the test because this is going to be the toughest defense the kids had to play. But again, coaching matters it matters and when you put your quarterback in positions to succeed and not fail your stars rise around him and they protect him think about think about brock purdy as the being the president and the team is the secret service that's what they are they just protect him 
They don't do dumb shit. They don't turn the ball over. They don't run stupid plays. And they're never in third and long. And they have the number one defense in the National Football League. I mean, how you have to talk yourself into taking the Niners here. Just based on that alone. I don't trust Dak on the road. I know he played well last week. but I haven't seen Dak play back-to-back great games. I don't think ever. I cannot take Dallas here. But it wouldn't surprise me if they covered that that four. I could see uh, Robbie Gould long field goal to win it. And I could also see a low-scoring game here. These are the two of the best defenses yeah. in the National Football League. Take the under, tease the under, and I think it's a steak dinner tonight. World of matchups, Blue Milk Boys Gaming. That's it for what, for the divisional round. You guys enjoy the games, and of course, we'll be back at this next week. Go Chiefs. See ya.